the UK is in the middle of a financial storm. According to the Financial Times, the UK is facing a financial downturn with inflation hitting a staggering 41% year high of 11.1%. Inflation soaring to levels not seen since October 1981 and the Bank of England hitting at even higher interest rates. National Statistics Report 2024 suggests the UK economy experienced two consecutive quarterly falls in GDP with 0.1% decline in the third quarter of 2023, indicating a challenging economic situation. But could this be the worst recession in the past 40 years, similar to the 2008 crisis, which was the deepest recession since World War II? The historical downturn left a lasting impact on the UK's economic state. Will history repeat itself? But how will this affect the education sector, especially for international students like you? While the outlook may seem bleak, it is important to remember that recession also presents opportunities particularly for investments also if you look closely there is a silver lining experts from dutch bank ing and capital economic predict a return to two percent inflation by april 2024 this means things might start to get better soon and that's just one good thing keep listening because i have a few more positive news to share with you my name is vishal and i'm a study abroad expert at mim essay and mentor me and being in this field for a while i can say this is is a very common question to see students getting apprehensive about flying abroad under such economic condition. We receive hundreds of queries daily about how recession might affect study abroad aspirations. Today, we are going to answer all these questions just for you. The recession raises valid concern about escalating expenses, the peak inflation levels. What should you do? First, let's tackle the biggest expense, the tuition fee. While you might assume that tuition and living cost will skyrocket, university are unlikely to raise fees significantly. International students are crucial for universities, financial health and the government, providing essential revenue. Given the overall economic downturn, it's likely that living expenses may increase slightly due to inflation, but tuition fee should remain relatively stable. Now, regarding meeting daily expenses and the potential need for loans, it is essential to budget carefully and explore various financial options, including both collateral and non-collateral loans offered at competitive rates. Now, moving on to the ultimate goal of studying abroad, securing a job. Interestingly, students who started college in 2008 and graduated during or shortly after the recession found a robust job market waiting for them. It's crucial to understand that the job market you'll enter after graduating in 2024 or 2025 is expected to be much more stronger as companies will be on a hiring spree to drive economic recovery. Concerning visas, the recession has surprisingly led to an increase in school and college intakes with over 130,000 Indian students receiving UK's visa by June 2024, a 90% increase from 2021. This surge has positioned India ahead of China as the largest nationality granted UK study visas, a record achievement. So is this the right time to study abroad? The same question arose last year during the recession and here is how it turned out. There was a remarkable increase in graduate recruitment across various industries, with one of the big four accounting firms hiring over 4,000 new graduates, the highest number ever recruited by a single employer in the United Kingdom. Furthermore, the latest recruitment targets for leading employers suggest a further increase of 8% in graduate jobs available post-recession 2024, reaching a level 20% higher than the pre-pandemic peak in 2019. So, now the answer is clear. If you could see beyond recession, there are going to be huge opportunities for the students in the coming year. Planning your standardized tests and applications now can position you favorably as the economy recurs by the time you graduate. If you're considering studying abroad and seeking reliable guidance to ensure you land a reputable institution with a promising job prospect post-recession, feel free to book a free consultation session with us. I hope this discussion has alleviated some concerns about studying abroad during a recession, where we can guarantee 100% admission assistance for free. The link is in the description box below. Till then, take care and I'll see you in the next video.